This is a brief demonstration of the mobile MIM iPod Radiology Viewer. Uh, when you first log in, the first thing you notice is that there is a list of options on the left and on the right are the studies. If you click on the MIM Cloud, uh, it'll request your password and this is how you get in and see the studies uh, that you've uploaded to their cloud server. Uh, the studies that you've already downloaded are available here and as you'll see they're listed uh, simply by the study type and title uh, and not uh, grouped by patient so that can make it a little bit unwieldy if you have a lot of studies. Now there is an area for sample patients this is very useful and you can see quickly the type of studies that are available and the capability of this application. Tap on this ACL MRI study. Now it takes a second to load uh, but after that you'll see that the um, interface is incredibly fluid. There is a calibration setting uh, which I've turned off but this is how it works. Uh, normally when you first log in it'll send you to the screen and it'll ask you to verify the lighting. This looks trivial, uh, but if you look carefully, there's one very lightly shaded rectangle on the screen, uh, which you need to identify. And if you do, then you're reading it diagnostically, verifying that there's enough contrast um, to make this uh, diagnostic, at least as far as the FDA is concerned. If you try to verify lighting and you can't find the rectangle, it'll put up this warning and say that it has failed verification, but you can continue to read non-diagnostically. Now, once you're in, going through the various slices is very fluid. By tapping on the right side and moving your finger up and down, you can see the cursor sliding up and down and quickly going through the entire study in just mere moments. Now, other views are available um, by tapping on this icon here, and this will demonstrate this seems to be a little lag often, and this will demonstrate the um, other studies available. Uh, but you can also simply navigate through these by simply tapping on the studies. Uh, the other uh, functions available are uh, measurement, and this is performed by dragging to the first point and then dragging to the second point of interest, and then it'll draw a line. And if you tap on the line again, Uh, you can make more measurements and you can see all the ones you've made over here. Um, as, um, as you first saw when we first went in, uh, it defaults to actual multiplanar reconstruction. Uh, and, and, this is, uh, and this can be really useful uh, for CT studies. So you can see uh, three planes simultaneously. And as you can see, as I, as I navigate through one, initially nothing happens on the other, but by switching to localization mode, which is simply by tapping and holding, or going through localization mode and then tapping and holding, um, you can have all three screens going at the same time, which is pretty remarkable for a small device like this. You can change which of the three views is in the dominant position by rotating through like this, and you can go back to the single mode we started in. Now you can change the color panel uh, through here. So you can have a, a color lookup table if you wanted of your own. The windowing is simply changed by dragging your finger up and down. You can see the numbers, although they're kind of small in the top right hand corner for the window level here. Like most other iOS apps, you can pinch and zoom. And once you're zoomed in, dragging now becomes a panning motion. If you zoom back out, Dragging again goes back to windows and levels. There are other studies that are available here. And just to quickly show a PET-CT study. Now, when we're changing the levels, in this case, even though uh, it's a CT originally, uh, now the changing the levels actually changes the, re the relative amounts of the PET versus CT studies. Lastly, if you go back to the settings, you can set a passcode uh, to prevent unauthorized use. And then the welcome and user guide are available here. And that's the end of this demonstration.